Hello everybody, welcome to Gathering Information. We are here, not live today, but we're pre-recording a Kibler's Giant Monsters event for upload probably Wednesday of this week is probably when you're seeing this. Mm -hmm. So, hello. Hey. Hey Jams, thanks for joining me this time. Mm -hmm. um, Kibler. Brian Kibler. Yes, Brian Kibler and his dragons, I guess. Well, we are not playing with dragons. We are going to be playing with uh, big green monsters. The uh, the Very similar to the deck that I used for the um, Cascade event, only a little bit skewed toward the top end because um, we wanted, you know, as many mana dorks as possible to get to that four mana as early as possible. And we just have a random smattering of things, because I like to, you know, play around. I, I don't think this is the kind of event that you should try to spike. I think you should just play with the cards that you like to play. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, in case you're not familiar, uh, Constructed Kibler's Giant Monsters is giving magic new rules. Uh, every time you cast a creature with converted mana cost 4 or greater, you draw a card. So, um, all of our four or higher drops will refill our hand. So that's hopefully going to be fun. Yeah, can't are you, hurt. Are you ready? I am so ready. All right, let's jump into this thing. We did play a bunch of games. We tested this deck beforehand. And uh, we tended to flood out, even with 23 lands. So I don't know that we got a, um, a reasonable uh, feel for the deck. So this is going to be interesting. Alright, three land, a land war elf, a couple of high drops, and a fight spell. I think we have to keep this, just because, you know, hopefully we'll get there. What do you think? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I don't know. Uh, hopefully. It seems sketchy. Well, I don't think we'll be coming up against the, like, red-blue counterburn deck a lot. So I don't think we have to worry so much about, um, Bolt and Bird, or Shock the Elf. No, but we may have to worry about whatever Black's version of that is. Yeah. The assembling skeleton. Interesting. I could rabbit bite it and get in. You could rabbit bite it and get in. What is it? How does it come back? Uh, pay one in a black, enter, uh, return to the battlefield tab. Yeah, I don't think we need to bother getting rid of that. That's not in the spirit of casting big creatures. Although, it seems to be working for them. They need to get there first. <sighs> Alright, this is where we start to have issues. Yep. We have, what, six mana dorks and 23 land, so... Oh. Well... This isn't a deck that's taking advantage of the drawing cards, but it seems to be effective in any at any rate. Okay, let's go on to the next game. I mean, obviously we're not going to win that one. That is true. Don't know what the prize structure is. We should check between games, assuming we don't lose this one. If we do this, this one, I think we'll re-enter for another go, mm -hmm. possibly after um, re-kajiggering the deck just a little bit. So this, I think, is fine, because we've got five mana sources and a six drop already, and this six drop will stabilize the game, and then we can drop this immediately after dropping this. Okay. I trust you. You don't you, you don't like this uh No, I don't. This sort of sketchy No. Mid game. No. Yeah. 
Not when the whole point is to get out super fast, but... Ah, the dino stack. That was our That's other... That's the one that I thought was really a cool idea, but we didn't have the pieces. Problem is, yeah. we didn't yeah. play Ixalan. We haven't gotten to draft all this stuff since the update, and uh, we're kind of doing the free-to-play thing, you know? Oh, look. More land. That's fine. That's our land that we need to drop Multani. That's true. Let's just hope we're not dead by then, because... Um, they don't have anything on the field yet. Not yet, but dinos can be... Pretty aggressive. It's true. They get Huntmaster down. They sell gravy, baby. Hmm. They're in three color dinos. It's another huge thing. All right. your three drop dinosaur what's your three drop dinosaur Ugh. oh alright one more turn we get out a tapped reachy trampoline uh, five five <laughs> tapped charging monstrosaur that seems monstrous saw that coming Hopefully we're not dead here. If they have a second charging monster sword, we're just dead. We're just dead. That's fine. This teaches us a valuable lesson. So, what do we want to add to the mid-game of our deck to uh, hold that off? No idea. Something with, um, what about a couple of Death Touchers? Death Touchers. That holds off the big dinos. Oh. Or at least makes them think twice. It's like removal. That's, that's cheap. That's fair. Get some cheap stuff. Like a couple of Basilisks? Yep. Yep. Those could be fun, too. I think the Basilisks are fine. All right. So a couple of basilisks. Maybe we don't need the marlins. So maybe four basilisks. Yeah, that seems good. And take out a hatchery spider and a galta. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so let's try this again. Giant monsters. And super freaks. Oh no, that's scary monsters, sorry. Scary monsters and super freaks? Big Bowie. Oh. Bowie. How do I know an old song that you don't know? You're the guy that knows all the old rock I, stuff. I was never really a Bowie guy. Oh, yeah. He's, he's me fine. neither. Like, My I friends were though. Bowie. Yeah, me too. Ah. Uh. No, it doesn't. That looks better. Just need a land. Maybe that's the land there. Because that would be super cool. Mm hmm. Hi, Mr. Death Touch. It's nice to see you. Don't kill our elf. Don't bolt the elf. Don't do it. Well, you can't bolt it, but you can do other mean shenanigans. Can bounce it. Don't do it. Okay. That's fine. Sure. All right. Oh, why didn't you swing first? Swing first with what? With the with the death toucher. Because I can swing now with the death toucher. Oh, fair. All right, fine. I just like to, you know. 
swing before I play my creature. Yeah. yeah, that's the smarter way to do it. Don't give them extra information. Waiting on our opponent. <laughs> Come on, opponents. Oof. Opponents staring down a uh, five power creature. With, which, uh, with, with hexproof. With hexproof. Which, uh. It's not fun. It's pretty, uh. Obnoxious. Pre pretty tough to deal. Yeah, very obnoxious. cast a creature spell. So even if it gets countered, you get to draw a card. That's that's pretty cool. I agree. That seems pretty good. I like him. As a worm. You do what wormy do. Nice. <laughs> Come on, opponent. I know it's hard to, to, to figure it out. I would also be thinking. Apparently the chair needs some oil. Again? It's squeaking when you're... See, if you hadn't dropped the Polak Worm first, he then may they have... may have killed our elf before we got a chance to. Oh, okay. So you had a good reason. Fair or enough. Or our Goreclaw before we had a chance to. Fair enough. I was going to say, because they may have thought, maybe I have another turn if I don't block this. And take it. What? What? Does that do anything? Oh. No. Tap up to two non-line permanents. Sure. Sure. Till our next turn or their next turn? They untap. On our turn. Okay. Yeah. So it buys them a turn. Yeah, it do. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, da, da. I appreciate their deck. I love some flyers. Yep. 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 This seems like a pretty good, uh, ooh, ravenous chupacabra. Which take a Goreclaw? Probably Goreclaw. And take a Goreclaw? Or a Palaka Laka. Really? Palaka Worm? Okay. Well, it represents seven damage to his face. Yeah. I suppose that's true. Nobody likes a Palaka Worm at their face. Doom, doom, doom. Do, 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 doom, doom. Why isn't this cheaper? Oh, because it's a zero power creature. Ah, non-bow. I get ya. Yup. I think we still want to drop it. Sure. I like creatures. Although we could just drop two vine mares and draw two cards. Maybe we want to do that. That could be good too. Maybe we'll get something... <laughs> You could drop three vine mares. Or we could rabbit bite their three? three power creature. Let's do that. With our vine mare. Yeah. Om nom nom. Sure. 
Because we've got a second Gork line hand, so I feel... I'm pretty okay about that. Yeah. Yeah, this has worked out much better. We just needed a little something to get us through. And thankfully we, we drew them. Well, we're also drawing better, yes. That, that makes a big difference. Because if we had never seen them... Sure, please. Yep. You're going totally to be very cool. sad next turn. That sucks. They timed out. They didn't have any timeouts. Oh. They were still thinking about how to block. That's too bad. That's unfortunate. Because I don't feel like they've been wasting our time at all. I feel like this is no, just been sort of complex. Yeah, so. they're thinking. Yeah. Oh, well. What you gonna do with our bomb? Woo, we won one. All right. It's a good start. It is a good start. So, uh, zero wins gets you 100 gold and two cards back. That's pretty cool because it's 500 gold to enter. Yeah. Five wins gets you 600 gold and two cards. And the rarity um, is random, Unco an uncommon and a rare at least. So, we're one win right now. We'll see how far we go with this monstrous deck. It is kind of monstrous, isn't it? I kind of, I, I hope that when they eventually go back to Theros, they bring back the monstrous mechanic. Oh, this hand is fine. This hand looks pretty good to me. I'm so okay with that hand. Home it goes first, scries to the top. They have a green deck just like ours. Hopefully not just like ours. Hopefully not just like ours. They have a green white deck. Interesting. I see. Maybe it's a dino deck again. It's a dino deck again. We might get our face stomped again. Or I don't think we're gonna get our face stomped. We might lose, but I think this is going to be a good game. Okay. You know why I think this is going to be a good game? Because you're dropping that giant thing? Because we have lands for days and the spells to cast with them. Yup. Hey, look at this. Look at this hand. It's pretty creepy. Did they just pass again? Yes. Wow. Flooding out. That's okay, we still have things left. Ooh, snapping sail back. Sure. Block the elf. Get a counter. Doesn't even matter. Nice. Alright. Don't even care. I forgot that card even existed. I love this card. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Especially in situations like that. Yeah. What you trying to do, opponent? You looking for white white? Tolly. Oh. What? That's exciting. We got a hatchery spider. Uh, we do. Can't Why do we want a hatchery spider? To block a tolly. Yeah. Or we just swing with everything and force them to trade. Which also seems like it's an okay thing to do. I think we just swing with the ferox. We leave this to block Atali, we leave this to block... Atali flies. No, Atali does not fly. 
It looks like it should fly. <gasps> Atali does not fly. Oh my god! Every single time. Life is good again. Yeah. Oh I know. my gosh! It's, it's a fin. It's not a. Oh, yeah. it's a fib, is what it is. It's just it. It looks like it should have reach because it's just like huge. I always assume it's a six inch flyer, and I play that darn deck. Man, oh man, hot nope. diggity. Nope, we're good. Oh, Atali, I'm sorry that you're not that great. Well, you are. You're still amazing, but I don't know if that's gonna help. Do we wanna? All right. Oh no. No! No! The worst, the only thing that ruins us in our entire deck is them casting that. Ugh. Oh. Two removal spells off Atali. Of That's gross. Yup. Have they moved to blocks yet? Have we moved to blocks yet? No. It's okay. I still I think we block and get rid of Atali. We can't get rid of Atali. Oh, our thing's tapped. Oh, this is bad for us. It's not that bad. We need some removal. He has a handful of cards, so do we. But ours are mostly land. Yeah. Now things are not so good for us. Yeah, we'll see. Oh no! Can't even cast our hatchery spider. That's that's not cool, man. Yeah. Ew. That's a come from behind, boy. What the ever loving F? God. So now we just lose. So close. Except they have a car and we don't. We have a grun. Yeah. So we lose one. That's fine. <laughs> we lost that game to Atali. Yeah. Two removal spells off Atali yeah, is kind that's... of impossible to deal with. Yeah, right? All right, next All right. game. All Let's right. do it. Okay, this is fine. This is fun. I like this. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Plus, I feel satisfied that we crafted our own deck for the experience. Because yeah, I've seen yeah. a lot of... Um, of conversation about decks that you should play for to win this. Um, yeah, this is okay. Wait. And another dinosaur deck. Oh, it's not another dinosaur deck. I mean, it could be another dinosaur deck. 
It's a something. It's an aura's something. deck, is what it is. Which, again, makes no sense with the um, casting big creatures draw card thing. Yep. Well, they put ours on. Is it w on cast? or It's is it on cast. Okay. And we've drawn land, rabbit bite, land. The rabbit bite will be good if we can keep this thing from getting counters until we... Deal with it. Well, I mean... Ooh. I think we take the damage here because I don't want to risk the Vine Mare. We've got two removal spells next turn off of the Vine Mare, so... Yeah. No, I get you. I think that is smart. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's not good. No. Actually, that's still fine. Because we've got Rabbit Bite. Yep. And Fight. And Swing. And Swing. <laughs> They're packed down to 20. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> We're amazing. Look at us go. Resplendent Yauch. Wanna trade? Trade ya. No? Okay. Fair. Get to drop a block of worm, gain seven life this turn. Draw a card. Be so happy. Nonsensical songs. Yeah. Although they make sense because they're about what we're doing. Do, 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 do. I don't sing about everything I do. I'm totally Marshall. Yeah. We live in a Marshall house. We totally sing about everything uh. we do. It's a good thing we both do it. Because I'm sure it's charming every once in a while for other people to hear. But if, we're, if you do it all the time and the other person doesn't. What is that hmm. thing? Oh, sure. It's a Swiss Army Knight. <laughs> you haven't heard that before? Oh, that must be a LRR. Oh, it is. That's amazing. Crunch. Go ahead. Take 12. No? No. Okay. okay. That's, That's cool. Because guess what? Guess what? Guess what? A lock, a lock, a lock, a lock, a lock, a lock, a worm, and a free Ooh. card, and a Galta. Yeah, we're casting a uh, two mana Galta next turn. Oh, that feels good. So, I mean, they can't do anything to us. I really don't think they can swing here. Oh, they both have trample. They're just dead. Unless they have something to get rid of our creatures. Like a luminous bond. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Sure. Really? They must have a fault. Uh, okay. Go to one. You must have some sort of life gain spell. Rabbit bite his, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we didn't get, but we didn't get to rabbit bite it! Yeah, well... Dang it! <laughs> okay, I'm getting greedy. Ooh. That was fun. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Keep this train rolling. So that was stompy time. That was stompy time. Let's not get cocky. Alright. <sighs> hey, considering how that started, um, Ajani's pride mate into Danatha. Into on Sarah's wings? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was Okay. Gross. This hand is not great, but it has potential. 
if we draw some medium big stuff, it'll uh, do well. You know, less land would be fine. Less land is our hand. Fewer less lands, land I suppose. Your hand. That doesn't work in my song. Watery grave. I'm so weird today, Stepford. You're so weird every day. That's fair. Hey, dirty pool. That was not cool. We I mean, could have played Goreclaw, you jerk. We could have. That's okay. Next turn. Mm -hmm. Thief of sand. No. Oh, dude. We have a rabid bite, so. If we can keep Goreclaw down, maybe we can kill it. Ugh. Land. Ugh. They get to look at three. Ugh. And they bend Argalta. Sure. Oh no! Yeah, we're not winning this one. There's no way to come back from that. Um. You always say that so quickly. I still don't think this comes back from it. We're at 18. Yeah, they have a better card than Galta from our deck. Uh, what could they possibly have? Uh, we're going to find out. You're going to take Palak Worm. Gonna give me Multani, then you're gonna kill Multani. You monsters. That's what you're gonna do. Mm, the players are the worst. I considered playing Mono Blue for this. <laughs> Monster. Sphinx Tribal, but uh, Amonkhet cards are not around. That's true. Took a Lanwar Elf. Really? You cannot um, account for what people are going to do. You know, you just never ever know. Seems weird to me too. Oh, this is end in your graveyard. Sweet. So we've got a disinformation campaign. We didn't need that land anyway. No, we didn't. <laughs> Keep it in hand for. Why don't we just play it out and play out the land we're off? We could do that. That works even better. We are empty handed. We don't have no cards. You can try to take them. They're all in our yards. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, no! Taking our Multani. All we need is a fight spell. Yarp. It's not a fight spell. Nope. On the upside, we're still at 18 to their 5. Also, they don't control any forests, so if they cast Multani, which they won't, um, It'll just die. Oh, they're casting it, so it's going to die and go to our yard. What? As though it were any tech hollow land. Each land in your graveyard. Oh. Ooh. I thought it was forests only. That's gross. That's a problem. Not really. It's 
maybe less of a problem now. Yeah. We just sit back and wait for something. I really thought of. Oh, man. That stinks. Yep. That is kooky. I'm not going to let them activate it. Oh, you are a monster. Yep. Well, you're worse than a blue player. Uh, sure. So <laughs> we went two and two after going zero oh and two, but that's fine. It was fun. The games we're, were amusing. Surprises. Yeah. We're going to see that we got ooh a couple of rares, ooh a chain whirler and a demanding dragon. It's saying we should play mono red deck. <laughs> well, <laughs> we time. might do another one of these. Probably not. We're we're I think I'm I'm satisfied with. It was fun. That now. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us here on our Weekend Wednesday uh, video uh, thingamajig. We were playing Kibler's Giant Monsters with our Mono Green Monstrosity. Um, if you enjoyed this, you should check our live streams, which are normally Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, although not this week because we're moving. But we will be, ba be back either... Christmas week or in the new year. Check us out on Twitter to figure it out. Mm. Uh, because, you know, moving sometimes takes a while. So streaming might be an occasional thing for the next little bit. Stream us interrupt us? Yeah. Um, but normally it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And it might even go to five days a week. So we'll, we'll figure that out soon. Uh, we wish you all the merriest of holidays and the happiest of uh, family delights. And um, hope to see you soon. Bye.